Hello, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. We are now Roberto in Persia. Oh, another lever? I believe those are those the type that you can fell with. Yes. Yes, we should swap to that. They should we? be fired. Much more sensible use. I want to break free. You've got to break free. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't think I can actually finish them with that weapon. I'm surprised you can finish them at all. I sort of assumed that uh, the disadvantage of setting them on fire was not being able to finish them and recover your sanity. I think you just have to swap quick enough because they do burn away. I believe unveiled all the way. What is that? Is that a trapper? No, they're zombies. Okay. It's just dark enough that I can't really make out things. So unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to fight them with the torch. But I'll put it on in a sec. Actually, it might be an idea to have. Oh, I wouldn't bother now. Oh, okay. Just better leave the room. There's just a torch in, over there. Just in case we wanted to look around. There we go. There's quite a bit of enemy killing. Climb up. Lots of up and down and up and down. Oh, we can pick something up. More crossbow bolts. <laughs> I'm actually trying to talk to this gentleman. They do come Is up with a talk. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell um, where here. it'll be. Babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen. Lovely. Should we survey the room? We should. Dust and rock falls from the roof through a fault in the stone. We need more reinforcement. I don't know if it's one of those situations where it might have been better if he just killed himself. <laughs> or they've just found another person to survey it properly. Isn't that always the case with stuff in, uh, inspired by the, the mythos? <laughs> it's that killing yourself is usually the best solution. And another man here. Oh, is that the same guy? Coherently. No, there's two. The other man was wearing dark clothes. Oh, okay. He's uh, just over here. Uh, I think that's all the items we can pick up. So we want to climb down again. Ah. We can finally get the book. We also have a new statue. P. Luther. Poor Luther. It's not what the P sounds. <laughs> Yearns to be possessed. Those flashbacks a little bit different each time. Yeah. We'll climb down. Yeah. Worker is surprised to see Roberto. Oh, well, we should go on and explore ahead, then. What could go wrong? Everything. Well, there is that, yeah. Oh. Well, luckily, we now have a young crossbow. Which is a nice reuse of a weapon, because no one's had it yet other than Paul Luther. It would be a bit of a shame if we only got to have it the once, when it's such a attention to detail in the mechanism. For now, just in case. Claps roof prevents him from going down that corridor. Mm. But we can climb up this ladder here into a surprisingly blue room. Now we do have magic now. I suspect we should be using it. What what colour were things? Did you get a good look or not really? Uh, I didn't, so let's use green. Uh, you might want to check the spell and cast a, a more powerful version of it. Because we can't can. do that now. Ban 
Ban Karak and Red Gamal. Doesn't actually matter the colour you pick here. I figured we might uh, just end up doing them as we need them. Yeah? Yeah. Anchor part on Celta part Hopefully that's enough that we that attract things to us. Actually, if I run round, I should just be able to get back into the damage field. What's the spell in the middle? You might want to pick it up. It might come in useful. Uh, well, in a sec. Oh, those things are so slow, aren't they? Have you enchanted your weapon as well? Uh, no, I wasn't going to bother. Oh, okay. Since we're damaging it quite a bit extra anyway. Well, I'm not sure. Is it actually getting damaged by the damage field or, or is it just stopping it from attacking? I'm not sure. Because it does kind of just stand in front of it rather than coming into it like most of the, uh, the creatures. It shows a little bit more intelligence, I think. Oh, that's that. It does look like it's hurting itself. Ah, there we go. I'm going to finish it off. Tattered scroll, but the summon zombie. Well, we really already know the formula for it. Yeah, but it's good to have them named. Some then you creature. can um, see what they are a bit more at a glance. But yeah, summon zombie, which you can't do a three point spell version because that's the lower version. Which means there's also uh, another summon spell which uses the other circle of power, however many that shall be. I can examine this over here. Abandoned library of sorts, and just a small collection of books. Oh. And down we go. Yeah, so we could cast like a seven point um, shield or a lovely rats there. Or a seven point um, enchant weapon. Or heal. Yeah. Yes, I was thinking that might be an idea. Well, the heals take quite a long time to cast, but shields, certainly, because you can do that sort of in the room previous. Uh, protect self, makes sense. Let's see if I can get it off. So to speak. That's all your magic gone. But it'd be very useful. Oh, it's quite pretty. Ah, now, I, I think this is one of the locations where you have to uh, remember which way you've gone. Make sure you explore all the options. There we go. That made quite a bit of difference. So you couldn't damage us. Does it actually damage them as well when they try to damage us? I'm not sure. It seems to make them sort of react and they flinch almost yeah put the torch on so we can see right so we've so got two ways to go here. here we'll go left i like left look at those rats running around oh. some bolts there just spotted oh actually it's kind of blocked off but it was good to know oh, we know where we're going but we can't go well, oh. another poor slave. Worker's corpse. Pulverised. Dear. Such ferocity that it has collapsed. What, his body? Oh. By being thrown against the wall. He's not as pulverised as Paul Luther was. I'm, I'm confusing things deliberately for comedic. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, onward. And someone else? 
This time, slashed from behind as he ran from his attacker. Oh. Now, what the game's trying to tell you here is don't follow it, yes. but do something else. It's rather giving us a fair warning, you could say. This headless corpse here. It's not really headless. Corpse is littering the room, however. So, what can we do? We've got that door there. Is this a door or just a, a thing? I think that's just a wall. Yeah. It's um, just because this was a... This is, though one of the places where there's two different places you can go so we must be careful to do all of them if we can right. if we remember just in here um yeah all right not going to do the puzzle yet then oh. Oh, i'm not sure there's enough zombies oh I'm not sure what you'd call them if you call them zombies. I think they are zombies, yeah. They're classed oh. as zombies. One of those ones where I can't get to his head. I'll move you out of the way of the other guys. Ah, oh, there we go. We can recover some sanity here without losing magic. Good stabby motion he has there. So we now have four different ways we can go. It's just a little one waiting for us to finish him off. Now that we have finished him off and we have lots of choices of where to go, we think we should probably leave it. So we're going to leave it. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>